Fora TV. The world is thinking. We have a, a whole row of questions which basically say, what's the best way to organize society to achieve justice and fairness? So let me read a couple of them. One is, are you a relativist? What, ensure, what endures beyond culture? Is there still a right or wrong in your theory? How do we know what it is, and if, if not by reason? Another questioner, to what extent can democracy lead to justice? Is democracy the only path to justice? More generally, what is the relation between relationship between democracy and justice? And finally, someone asks, because we have to survive, because we have to survive as Homo sapiens, isn't justice that which ensures survival of the fittest? Um, well, um, this, to answer these questions, first. Um, the, um, uh, no, I don't take the, the, the relativist position. I do think, and indeed I argued even in this lecture and quite extensively in the book, that criticism can come from one culture about another. Indeed, the whole debate about capital punishment on the infanticide, uh, stoning of adulterous women, depending on where you take your pick, the criticism has come from elsewhere often. Also inside, but also elsewhere. There's nothing wrong in making these criticism. That is quite different from saying there would necessarily be agreement. But I don't think there would be necessarily agreement even within one culture. I think the, the barrier isn't that one culture thinks one way, another culture thinks another way, but people think very differently even within America. You have got extreme conservatives, and you have got extreme left-wingers. And, you know, that's, that doesn't mean that America is, is is, is, to, is split into 65 different cultures. Uh, so I think this idea of what goes wrong in cultural thinking is this idea that somehow we can follow each other, which is always a hard thing to do anyway, uh, but we can follow each other within a country, but somehow not at all beyond the country. I think there is a problem, but the challenge is not, it doesn't arise as you cross the boundaries of one country to another. Democracy, yes, if justice is a matter of reasoned arrival at conclusion, then democracy in the broad sense, in the John Stuart Mill sense of uh, democracy being governance by reason, uh, go governance by discussion, is indeed quite central because it's by discussion, as, as indeed the answer to my first, to the first question that I gave also indicates that really central part of the exercise. Survival of Homo sapiens, uh, survival of the fittest. You know, I think the, the trouble really is that the, uh, the survival of the fittest is not a normative theory, of course. Uh, it is uh, is describing what happens in the nature. And sometimes we want to go along with it, sometimes we don't. But those, the person asking the question who thinks that if um, survival of the fittest is the, is the thing to do, then homo sapiens we both want to keep, that I'm afraid is not the case. If it emerges another species which are better suited than we are, then the Homo sapiens will be completely sacrificed to the altar of the survival of the fittest. Darwin is not a survivalist of any species. I mean, the Darwin gives us very little clue about the debate that's going on about extinction of species. I mean, that things get extinct in, in, in the Darwin system, and that's the way nature is. And indeed, I, I had a paper actually on that subject some years ago about um, why that it is, there's a huge amount to learn from Darwin, but not just ethics, because I think that context, the limitation of survival of the fittest is very weak. Basically, what we try to do is that even when people are not fit, we regard it just that we want to look after them. And that's why if people are disabled, we don't think of exterminating them. We don't try to do the exercise of IQ testing so that the, the people who are not so intelligent, those tribes could be eliminated. We don't follow all the, the, uh, the rabidity of the, uh, of, the, of the Nazi program and so on, which um, is very much based on the idea of, of, of survival of the fittest seen as a moral principle and let the weakling go down under. I don't think there's justice in that. So I think that the last question 
is a problematic question. But, you know, these questions are so difficult to write down. I'm not blaming the questioner for it. If I had a conversation with him or her, I'm sure we would arrive at some position which is understandable to each of us. And that's, I think, one of the merits of discussion.